How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, Nigel and Gobo were given the quest to find the hidden land, with first the idea of crossing the water, but we don't really know how while Grovile goes off to steal the rest of the time gears. As Nigel's saying, we just happen to be at the, here at the beach, so... And a bunch of dots! Yeah, we don't have any ideas. This is hopeless. <laughs> a way of crossing the sea. I'm not coming up with anything. I agreed to search for the hidden land, but where do you suppose we should start looking? And there's no time. Ugh! It's true, we've got too little information to go on. And we have no time to waste. We have to locate the hidden land as soon as possible. We have to find Temporal Tower, and then put the time gears inside it. If we fail to do that, our planet will become paralyzed. There it is. Nice little recap there for those of you guys who uh, may have been uh, forgetting the story a little bit. And to do that, well, we have no choice. We need everyone's help. That's it. I'll tell Nigel. <laughs> Time to break the news to him. Mm, what is it, Gobo? We should go to Wigglytuff's guild. What? You want to go to Wigglytuff's guild? Why? We just appeared in front of everyone, remember? Well, yes, I think everyone would be really worried about us. I don't think this is as much of a big deal if we go back to the guild. I think we'll be welcomed happily rather than in the previous game when we were, of course, thought to be criminals. But we're not criminals here, but everything we saw in the future, everything about Grovile and about Dusknoir, and even about your past, Gobo, if we tell it all to the guild, how can they believe us? What do you think? You think everyone at the guild will believe us? I don't know, I changed my mind, you're right. We can not tell. We can tell everyone about what we experienced, but there's no telling if they would believe us or not. It's true, I mean, there's no there's no guarantees in anything. Especially since everyone thinks highly of Dusk Noir. Except everybody saw him pull us into the portal, what do you mean? If we were to tell everyone the truth, I mean, or I wonder if they would be able to accept it. It's true. What Nigel is saying is true. Good thing I said it's true before to confirm it, but... What? We should tell them anyway? Yeah, because, I mean, if they're our friends, they should trust us. Yes, tell them is my only option. We trust them. We need everyone's help. Everyone's help. I understand. We can't find the hidden land on our own. We do need everyone's help. Yes, we do. It's never a bad idea to get everybody's help there. If we don't, if we don't get their help, we we'll run out of time to prevent the plant's paralysis. Oh my gosh. I just wish that they would stop saying that in one episode, Gobo. Okay, you're right. Let's go home to Wigglytuff's guild. I don't know, I gotta say I'm a little nervous to go back to the guild. We haven't been there in a long time, but I'm certain they'll understand. Let's go home, Gobo, back to Wigglytuff's guild. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be a little strange. We haven't been there in so long. Oh, man. But here we go, Chapter 17, The Guild's Crew, with a nice picture of Wigglytuff there. Feels weird to already be at chapter 17. Yes, we are near the end of the post game or pre credits game. I always want to call it post. I don't know. Anyway, here we are, Gobo, Wigglytuff's Guild. Feels as if we were gone a long time. But now that we're here, it's kind of awkward to go in. I, I'll agree with you there. That's what I was thinking myself here. I was like, this is going to be kind of weird. Those totem poles outside? No. We can't be acting all bashful now. We have to see everyone and tell them the truth. Okay. I'll stand above the sentry post. Oh, this is weird. It's back back to back to square one with Nigel. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint belongs to... The f f f footprint belongs to... What's wrong, Diglett? Respond, respond! What? Hey, Diglett, where do you think you're burrowing off to? That... that footprint. It's Nigel! What? 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 We're all back, indeed. It is Nigel and Gobo, too. Yeah, don't forget about me. Diglett, long time no see. Uh, everybody's coming up to say hi to us. I don't like this at all. Oh, Loudred, hey, how's it going? Oh, my God. Oh, Pidoof, uh, Chapko, Corfish, uh, Krogunk, what are you guys doing here? Hey, so oh, Sunflora. My stalker. Oh, my gosh, it really is Gobo and Nigel. Nope, we are just merely figments of your imagination. Especially yours, Loudred. You're both alive. Yeah, did you know that hopping into portals kills you, Loudred? No, of course you'd be alive. What'd you think? Uh, uh, I was by golly. That did, that's not an actual sentence. I was by golly. Who is golly and why were you by him? Everyone, we're home. No. Oh, no. It's chat. -out. I don't know if I'm really happy to see him. I don't think he's happy to see us either. He didn't really greet us or say a dang thing. Welcome home, Nigel Gobo. Oh, well, that's pretty welcoming. If anyone's gonna welcome us back, I'm glad it's uh, Wigglytuff. What? What was that again? Just, just hold on for a moment. Let me get this story straight. Okay. Let me summarize your story so far. In case you didn't know, first, Grovile's actually a good Pokemon. He was collecting the time gears to save the world. 
Yes. And the great Dust Noir only pretended to be kind and helpful? Did you guys not see him pull us into the portal? He's actually a heinous and wicked villain. That's a very weird word, heinous. He is heinous and wicked! Stop defending him, Nigel! It's trying to piss me off! Oh, God. Gobo was a re a really Grovile's partner? Yes. So Dust Noir wanted to get rid of both Gobo and Grovile, so he took them to the future. And he's like, yeah, uh, I was there also. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, he brought Nigel also, I guess. Because that was necessary, with a question mark. Then you managed to escape from Dust Noir by the skin of your teeth. There's no skin on my teeth. Gross, yes. And finally, this planet will soon become paralyzed. And to prevent that, Grovile has started gathering the time gears again. Meanwhile, you two are looking for a place called the Hidden Land. Is that your story in full entirety? Yep, that's all of it. Well, now that we've uh, summarized and read it, hee hee hee, and apparently chat talks Michael Jackson, hee hee hee, you must have had a bad dream or something. Shut your damn mouth, chat tot. Why don't you two just go to your- No! Why did I- I should have seen this coming. I should have seen- I'm sure, I'm sure you two are suffering some exhaustion. Shut your stupid pie hole. I hate you, chat tot. That's quite enough. So tell me, is there any part of your story that is even remotely plausible? A place called the Hidden Land? Oh my god. Alright, you know what, Nigel? I've had enough. Screw the guild. Screw chat tot. We're out of here. We're out. Kim is a huge shot and it was shocking. It was really hard to accept, especially for Nigel. This is coming from Nigel, the guy who, like, kissed at his ghost feet. Or his tail, whatever he has. But I'll hear no more of this. I don't care what you say. The Great Dust Noir, the villain? Oh, the word, that's it. We're through. Don't you two feel the same way? How can anybody seriously think of the Great Dust Noir as a villain? We, we hold Dust Noir in high esteem. We cannot believe it. Screw you also, Doug Trio. You are all terrible. Everyone says it shares the same. But. Hmm? What is it, Sunflora? There's something I don't understand. That time? When the Great Dustin was about to return to the future. Yeah, and pulled us in! Evilly! It's too soon for farewells, yes, in the most uh, climactic cutscene of all time. Well, I don't know. It's either that or the revelation that Gobo was Nigel's partner. By gosh, everyone was like... We saw that happen and Chata was just like, What a great guy! Like, what a, what a genuine fellow. What Dust Noir did then, it was strange, any way you look at it. How would you- how would you in any right mind see that as something- Found by accident- he grabbed us! Dust Noir grabbed Nigel and Gobo and yanked them in. Yes, thank you. Hey, hey, that's right. How would you forget something like that? That's like- That's like looking with your eyes 101, Chatot. My god, you're dumb. I like how Wigglytuff isn't participating at all, but he could back us up, and what Dustin Moore did suddenly makes perfect sense. Oh, because he grabbed us. What? Wait a minute. So this is what you think now? Are you actually saying that you now believe what Nigel and Go- Screw you, Chatot. Everybody hates you. You're a terrible, awful person. We- we- we spill our guts to you. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, just come in, just listen up. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Bidoof's even claiming that Dustin Moore is a villain. Yay! Says Bidoof, and he's like, Golly, I sure did think highly. Oh, he's, his voice is still weird, I see. The whole idea sounds troubling when you put it that way. There's something more important here. Yep, yep, Gobo and Nigel are more important. Thank you! Oh, yeah, yeah, your guildmates are more important than some stupid floating ghost with three faces. Wh what does that say about you in lead as your leadership, Chatot? Everybody likes us. Even Corfish and Sunflora. Oh, we know about Sunflora. Maybe a little too much. I believe them. Me too. So do I. Never mind, Doug Trio. I don't care what you say. You already said you didn't believe us, so screw all three of you. Earth, thank you, everyone. Well, we now know who's on our not friends list, and that would be Chatot and Doug Trio. I don't care. You cannot take back your impression. Well, hiya! I was sleeping the whole time. <laughs> he probably was. We all believe our friends. That's great. <laughs> Let's begin search. Yay, Wigglytuff! If only we would have chimed in a little later and maybe, I don't know, grabbed Chatot and threw him against the wall or something. He's just the worst. Hmm, what's wrong? We're not all in agreement yet, are we? Yeah, um, <clears throat> Chatot. But I suspect that Chatot isn't convinced. Oh, is that all? Well, he doesn't. <laughs> you don't need to worry about Chatot. He's pointless. Chatot is convinced. Right. Because Chatot believes Nigel's story all along! He's like threatening him, like, Right, Chatot? And he's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Chatot, what the crap's wrong with you? Don't even pretend. What an idiot. Chatot, oh good master, there's no fooling you, I admit it. 
So you lied to us just to be, like, because you're so dang uppity. Because you're like, oh, I've never heard of it, it can't exist. But if I would have said I believe them right away, everyone would have just gone along with what I said. Uh-huh. Sure, that's why I was so contrary. Uh-huh, I wanted to put your friendship to the test. When have you ever cared, Chatot? I, this, yeah, likely stored. Bidoof's on our, Bidoof's on our side. Bidoof gets it. He went on an adventure with us. But without a doubt, I was convinced from the get-go. I knew it. Shut your, shut up. Chatot says you. Everybody here doesn't like you. He's like crying now. He's like, hee 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 Jean is not my lover. Gobo, Nigel, I believe you. You're my good friends and give the membership. Oh, what a great guy. Now everyone listen. Look at his little face. Time is stopping in more and more places. From Nigel's story, we know our world is in danger. That means we have to do something. This is our time. In the name of the of Wigglytuff's Guild, we'll combine all our efforts. We'll discover the hidden land. Let's do this, everyone. Hooray! Chatot! Yes, sir, you're fired, you're fired, he's fired, he's fired, he's fired. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, everyone, from now on, we're all shifting our efforts to locating the hidden land. We also have to let everyone know what's happening in our world. It's going to get busy. We all have to work hard. Get busy! Does anyone remember that guy? Sean Paul? Sang those, like, weird, incoherent songs. I'll put- I'll get the word out, by golly. I'll go, too. We have to let Azolf and his friends know, too. They're back at their lakes, they may try to stop- stop Grovile. Hey, hey, then I'll go tell them. You're gonna go all the way to their lakes, Corefish. Okay, everyone else, search for the hidden land, please. Yeah! Bidoof, Sunflower, and others, once your errands are done, gather information on the hidden land. Yes, sir. We'll hurry. We'll find the hidden land together. All right. Yumta! Yes, everyone loves, uh, Wigglytuff's scary death metal scream. All right, let's show some, so, show some guts. Hey, hey, hey. That was like a Fat Albert thing, and I missed it. I missed, hey, 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 I'm sorry I don't have any information on the hidden land. But maybe, the wise Torkoal, the town elder, may know something. Torkoal, we actually met him a while ago. That would be the wi wisest and oldest Pokemon of Treasure Town. He lives in the hot spring, so he's always there. In fact, I'm positive that you find him at the hot spring. Oh, I remember. Yes, when we f got launched out of the dun that one dungeon, we landed here in the hot spring and met Torkoal. Just for a brief few moments, my goodness. It was the water that carried you all this way. What a journey that must that must have been. I never- I didn't notice that Teddy Ursa and Ursaring were in here. Uh, that's pretty funny. I wonder what the hot spring would have done if you had had like a fire- if like Charmander was in here. It's just like Charmander's writhing around in the hot spring like, Yeah, I appreciate how hot it is, but this is water and I'm also dying. It's him. It's the nice old Pokemon we met. You should put his years of wisdom to use. Go ask Torkoal for advice. First time we went to the hot spring? We had to get through through water- to get there through Waterfall Cave, Gobo. Let's go. Onward to the hot spring. But first... Chimeco has an announcement, it is getting late, and besides, you must be hungry. Huh? Yeah, that's the hungry sound. My stomach growled. I wish my stomach growled like that. But instead it's just... You should have dinner. Then get a good night's sleep. We can all get to work tomorrow. Yes, thank you. Hey, Gobo's belly growled. Again! <laughs> oh, did everyone hear that? What a laugh, Gobo. Letting your belly bark back at Chimeco, eh? Hey, how about you all stop making fun of my stomach? I'm still very salty toward you. It, well, I guess not all of you. Mostly Chatot and still Doug Trio because he's a conniving little fool. He's only like everyone else agreed, so he's like, yeah, uh -huh. I, I agree too. The fact that Team Skull's plates are still there is still kind of strange, isn't it? A nice look at the moon once more. What do we have to chat about tonight, Nigel? It's been so long since we've been in this room. It's been so long since we, like, slept regularly. It feels as though I'm finally home, because you kind of are. You know, I'm glad everyone came to believe our story. It made me a little choked up. Let's go meet Torkoal tomorrow and talk with him. Let's get back at it tomorrow, Gobo. Sounds like a plan to me. We do have to uh, go through the waterfall cave to get there, though, the next morning. Up and at him, it's morning! Ah, nothing like shattered eardrums to let us know that we are back at the guild. Ah, oh, good morning, Gobo. Ah, uh, Loudred's voice has not been more satisfying to hear. Anyway, I don't want to end the episode off just yet. I actually want to preface it a little bit with whatever is going to happen here. Ahem. So wrapping up, everyone's aware of their duties today. By golly, yes. I'm all ready to go. Good. Those of you investigating the hidden land, and those of you spreading the word about the true state of affairs, I expect you to organize your teams accordingly and get going. Let's get right to it, everyone. 
And if we remember, the hot spring is through Waterfall Cave, which means we're probably gonna have to go down that crazy water slide. We must go to the hot spring and get information from the wise old Torkoal. Like we have to go through Waterfall Cave, yes, as I just said. Let's make our way toward the hot spring. So yeah, guys, next time on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, we are going to be returning to the Waterfall Cave and launching through the rapids or the river that brought us to the hot spring before. How's it going, Krogunk? What's, uh, what's going on over there? I just, you just sat back. Just happened in front of my pot here. <laughs> Not that kind of pot, though. One that has purple gunk in it. I butchered that. Anyway, I'll leave you on that one. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day. And I will see you guys next time.